push the limits in this movie. Oh, yeah, it's so dark. Honestly, this would have made my list. I love Hunter Biden Richard Name. It's such a good movie. What ruins it for me? Those fucking gargoyles. The guy was like super oh. annoying. Oh. I love Jason Alexander. I love him in Seinfeld. He's God, great he's Seinfeld. annoying. God, he's, he's annoying. an annoying gargoyle. Oh, oh my, my God. God. And you know what would have been better? If those gargoyles were part of Cosimo's imagination, maybe he just talks was, them because he's lonely. Because he's got no friends. And that would have been clever. Friends. Yeah. But in the ending, they actually shoot people in. And they're shooting fireballs at people. I'm like, oh, so they and are real. And they're actually helping him get away. So they're real talking gargoyles? But it's confusing. It's just But different. it's still it's still a good movie, None, nonetheless. I love the Hunchback movie. All right. Number three, she just said it again. Aladdin. Aladdin's awesome. Uh, Robin Williams at his best in an animated film. Oh, yeah. my goodness. He's done a lot of animated work. This is his best. Uh, Half the lines he says in this movie are straight up improvised, like, because that's just yeah. how funny Robin Williams is. And the best thing is, I feel like it's one of the most quoted Disney movies. It's so funny with the jokes and songs. Like, everyone sings, like, part of uh, A Whole New World, and uh, they all like to sing, like, I ain't never had a friend like me. That's like, a good song. Yeah, or Riff Raff, Street Rat, or... You know, there's, there's so many songs in this movie. Prince Ali and like I love Prince Ali. Prince Ali's classic. Um, yeah, it's just so quotable in this movie. Animation's good. Uh, the only character I don't like in this movie is Iago. His voice. Yeah, oh Gilbert my Godfrey God, is annoying. Gilbert Godfrey. Ah! <laughs> Oof. God, it makes your ears want to bleed a little bit, uh, but we'll pretend that he doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, other than that, I love this movie. It lands great. Uh, so my number three is actually what he said, and he doesn't love it more than me, is The Little Mermaid. <laughs> he I, he won't lie, I made this this poor boy watch it a lot when we were kids. I'm pretty sure we watched it every day yeah, for like a year. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I've seen this movie at least in like a triple digits. Like it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty yeah. bad. I can't lie to you. Um, though it grows on you. The more you watch it, the more it grows on Don't you. Don't buy the original VHS. There's a big penis in the back. Oh, yeah, good old Disney things, you know. A penis! A penis, right in the back. I mean, what's this? It's a penis. Grow up. No, I kind of <laughs> wish that King Triton was less of a bitch at the end of the movie. Oh, yeah. He looks like a badass. He's like Zeus of Underwater. Like Poseidon, actually. He's like Poseidon. That he's pretty much an homage to Poseidon. Yeah. He's kind of a dick, but I get why he's a dick. He's just trying to protect him. He's Honestly, trying to protect his daughter. Everything he says is logical, because what she's saying in this movie... It's not like, logical. Who the but fuck But at the same time, uh... I like that they had a romance because yeah. in the end she likes the romance. I'm a girl, whatever. It was She's cute. Such a girly girl. It was sweet. I liked that even though she he was put under a spell, he still recognizes that he loves Ariel. And I still think Ursula is one of the best villains. Oh, she's awesome. You know, she's so menacing. And King she tried. And she literally just wants to take... <laughs> Out of... Get away from That's one of the best scenes is when she's got Ariel's voice and then Scuttle breaks the necklace and she just all of a sudden sounds like a man. And Eric, Out of... Get away from her. <laughs> you see Eric's face in this. It is so funny. Oh, I rewind it. When I was a kid, I used to rewind that scene like a bajillion times. It's so funny. Still to this day, it's, it's so like, funny. what the fuck? Yes, Sounds like a transgender. Anyway. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Anyways, hilarious. it's a good movie. Uh, you know, if you want to see great side characters and you want to have great songs that are memorable, and you know, you want to have a story that is entertaining, if anything, super entertaining. Iconic, so iconic and memorable. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that. I'm, is, I'm pissed that. Uh, uh, Frozen you love. I love Frozen too, but Frozen gets so much love now and even Little Mermaid never got that. Like Little Mermaid. Which is a little surprising. It was to popular, me. but it was nothing it was like never what Frozen I, it is. Was, now. It was never it was never iconic. Be it, it's better than Frozen. But none Frozen of the songs I was a little disappointed that the songs never got as recognized as like Let It Go. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I think Kiss the Girl is in part of your world is, is one of the, the two best songs in Disney movies. But that's my opinion. Alright, are we into the final two? My number two is Beauty and the Beast. Uh, I love this movie. Um, honestly, I can't think of a single thing wrong with it. Being a critic, that's hard. Like, I guess you could say, it, like, Gaston Sturgeon's annoying, but honestly, he's, but supposed, he's, not really, he's, so, he's supposed to be and annoying. He's barely in he's it. He's supposed to hate so. him. And, 
And I love that the Beast is the good guy, and Gaston is the is the is the villain. Is the bad Cause, guy? Because Gaston's the town hero. He should be the good guy. But he's and the not. The Beast is the monster, but the monster is the good guy, and Gaston is the villain. He's the Beast. When she says that in the end, no, he's not. No, the beast. you're the Beast. You're the Beast. I love that. I love that. I love how they do that. And the animation is gorgeous in this movie. And again, like um, I'm not a big thing of romance. The Disney movies don't know how to do romance. They all fall in love in the like. Three For days. seconds of meeting. Yeah, met you two days ago. Let's pork now. Not even that. It's like I met you five minutes later. We should get married. Yeah, like, I'm like I don't, I don't get that. Beauty and the Beast, though, you have no idea how much, how much time she spends with the Beast. Like, they never tell you how much. Because it goes they from go to, winter, and it, it, it's a long time. They never tell you, which is clever, very clever, and uh, it's nice. She could have stayed. You know, who knows? She could have been there for two years, all I know. But she grew to like him, and she is a genuinely kind person. She fell in love with him. Not his looks. Yeah. That's why Belle is my all-time favorite female character. She's a genuine character. She falls for the man, not the face, not the beauty, not the royalty. She's not vain. Yeah, and she spends this time with them, and you spend time with these characters. You learn about these characters. You believe the romance. And again, the songs in this movie are kicked ass. Oh my goodness. Be Your Guest is awesome. Tales as Old as Time is awesome. Which is the most iconic and, in the movie. And uh, Kill the Beast is awesome. And Gaston. 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 Yeah. And yeah, I love Beauty and the Beast so good. Yeah. So my number two is actually one of the oldest Disney movies, and that's Sleeping Beauty. Now I know most people are like, she's asleep for her most of the movie. Well, the last but act. what makes Pick the off. movie more iconic really isn't her and not Aurora. It's mostly Maleficent. And the three fairies. Oh, hell yeah. And honestly... The movie should have been just about the fairies. And, you know, I loved them in the movie. They were, not only were they funny, they were caring. They had the only ones who protected her in the damn movie. I know, like... Nobody else is protecting her. <laughs> Fuck those parents. Let's just leave the three, like, four-foot fairies to protect <laughs> our daughter. Little tiny fairies. We have, like, a whole army, but let's leave the fairies to do But this. I tell you, I think Maleficent... You know what's funny in Disney movies? There are some... The two female villains that are so amazing, are better than most of the guys, is is Ursula and, and Maleficent. Yeah. You know, Maleficent is, is sheerly an evil person. Like she she's just, so memorable. And she's one of the most iconic, yeah. you know, Disney villains. And not only that, she's so creepy looking. She's so well animated. Think of when it was animated. It was so impressive. Yeah. How, it's almost demonic how she looks. Like it's she so demonic. Horns. She's got like these like she, they like, look like in the they look like ram horns. Yeah. And then she's got this cape. And it's and when she disappears, it's like this big green Flames. smoke cloud. And it's amazing. And the fact that the fairies are so scared of her. And they literally, she curses this girl to be in eternal slumber and pretty much die. Yeah, I hate that kids are growing up now with this new movie, Maleficent. Don't watch that! No. Watch Sleeping Beauty. The original is so much better, yeah. and Maleficent is way... They make her kind of weak. Sorry to say. They make her seem kind of like she's afraid of things, and she's not. Yeah. She's Maleficent. Yeah. And she's the yeah. best sorceress on Earth. Hell yeah. Um, Sleep Movie didn't make my list. I, I do like it. It's a good movie. Um, I just, I didn't like Aurora, and I didn't like no. The Prince. He's barely in it. Yeah, I know. He, he was four lines in the movie, and... Maybe. Yeah, um, I didn't like its a animation all the time, uh, even though Aurora was designed kind of nicely, but... She was a very beautiful was Disney in, character. Some parts of this movie, I just not, I don't, I can't get into it, but I do love the fairies, and I do love the Lipposite. So yeah, it's good, it's just not great. What is your number one? My number one, drum roll, please. Fantasia. Oh, it's so predictable of you. Fantasia, 1940 Fantasia. Everyone who says this movie sucks, you don't know fuck all about film. Um, <laughs> yeah. And some people say it's not fully animated. There's an orchestra playing, and they're humans. I'm like, that's not even part of the story. The no, story it's not. It, it's, the music does make the story. Songs, all orchestrated. And it's just telling it's stories all classic, through music. It's all classical music, yeah. which is very yeah. nice. It's all abstract animation told through music. It's just little stories. It's not about the orchestra. They're not meant to be part of the story. They're just meant there to tell you what each story is a little bit about. Well, me, look about that. Music is actually what sets an atmosphere and a tone yeah. for a story. So it's helping yeah. get you a feeling of what's happening yeah. without telling you what's actually happening. And honestly, I can put on Fantasia. I can put on Fantasia. 
and uh, I don't even need the picture, I can just listen to this music. The music is beautiful, it's riveting, it's mm -hmm. enchanting, it takes you to a place that is just purely magical, pure Disney magic. That is the definition of Fanta Fantasia. It's Disney, Disney magic. magic. It's beautiful, it's amazing. And well, yeah, like the animation, it's incredible. The opening is beautiful, but the ending is the best. The ending is very good. Smog Mountain, uh, when they show the devil, the, how the actually, he is actually the creepiest yeah. looking devil. Yeah, and all the servants goes, are coming down, to them. He goes down in history as one of the creepiest and very scary devils in devils. a movie. Yeah, this is 1940, and, but yeah, and the, way, movie. And the way they built it up, and then these people pray to, to get rid of the devil. The music is just so good. It builds and builds oh, and just, builds to this grand I love, orchestra. I love, I love when they do that at the end, and it gets so, so dramatic. Yeah. Yeah, it's just so good. The it's animation, a yeah, the animation's beautiful. The music is one of the greatest I've ever seen in a, in a Disney movie. It's not just it's not musical numbers. It's just all scores and orchestra. It's amazing, riveting. Check it out. You're doing it yourself a disservice skipping this movie. See it. Show your kids. They need to learn a, shit, a few things about music and Disney movies. And Disney movies. <laughs> Fantasia, awesome. Number one. So he already said my number one, and he knows my number one Disney movie. It's always been my number one. It's it's Beauty and the, the Beast. Beast. Uh, now, I love that Belle is not a Disney princess. I love that Gaston's an asshole. Oh. <laughs> I love that, you know, the romance, it, it really is believable. And yeah. I actually, it made you, it's something you should actually teach your children. I'm sorry. Your children and ever the world love the someone for who look, they are. Who they are. You know what? We live in a world too much these days. Uh, that everything is beautiful. The internet these days. Yeah. Everything is beautiful. You know what? Everything is not beautiful. Personality is beautiful. Personality Kindness is beautiful. Kindness is beautiful. Being a good person. And that movie just it embodies a good people. Do they prevail in the end? And that is a good message to me. Belle is a good role model. For women. All women. Very good role you know, not only she's children, good. women in general. So Ariel is not a good role model. Because he's handsome. And, and no, he's a prince. All Ariel says is, I want this, I want this. And when she doesn't get it, she goes and tells her soul to get it. And in the end, she has to pay the price. But by the end, her dad gets her what she wants anyways. She didn't learn anything. The thing is, <laughs> Belle has actually trades. She yeah. is so selfless. Yeah. She trades places with her father to save his life. That is yeah. iconic. Some people can say Belle doesn't learn anything, but honestly, Belle doesn't need to learn anything. Because she's, she's a already good a good person. And yeah. honestly... It's about Beast. He needs to learn something. He needs, he needs to, to learn that yeah. it isn't about that he once was handsome and now yeah. he's not... He's so caught up with thinking nobody will love him yeah. because he's ugly, but really, does he not know that it doesn't come from yeah. beauty. It comes from what kind of person you can be. Yeah. And just because he looks like a monster doesn't mean he has Disney to act a like a monster. Because he does. And he, he thought that he needed to be the scary guy that everyone thought he was. But when the part that gets you is, is the part when she gets attacked by wolves. Yeah, it shows that and, he's And a true he comes hero. and saves her. And right there, you're like, you know what? This is a good guy. Yeah. I, 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 we didn't mention uh, the beast, the design of the beast. Oh really my cool. god. I like I think it's... Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> if you guys are wondering, my camera cut out at the last bit of this video. So, thank you for watching. Yeah, we rambled on for way too long. But, yeah, basically got the gist of it. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And please, comment below. Give me your top ten best animated Disney films. Comment below. Let me know. If you like more, please like and subscribe to this channel. And join the Ducks.